The only person that I ever got starstruck, and I worked with all of them, the biggest stars, the only person who I could never get over who he was yeah. was Frank Sinatra. Wow. wow. That's the only one. You've been on set with Sofia Vergara, not starstruck even a little no, bit. No, Sofia Loren. No, she's a beautiful person. Oh, well, what was the interaction Sophia with Sinatra? Sofia Vergara oh. is not Sofia Loren. Yeah, it's a very big yeah, difference. Exactly. Sinatra, every time I was with him, I would just kind of just put my head down and go, Frank Sinatra, man. <laughs> 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 I couldn't yeah. get over. I just couldn't get wow. over who he was. He was the only one because he was like, to me, you know, I, it's the famous. It's a famous story. I told it on the Tonight Show, and it's in a book. It's, and that's when we were sitting there. We were, everybody went inside, and I was at a barbecue at Frank's house this one time. I'm sitting there with him, and all of a sudden he goes, uh, "Hey, Chaz, you know, Bronx Tales is one of my favorite movies." I said, "Oh, thanks, Frank." He goes, "It was a great movie." I said, "Thanks, Frank." He goes, "You know why it was a great movie?" And I'm like, "Why, Frank?" He goes, "Cause I didn't fucking fall asleep." That's <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said. Same so, with Pat. So then he goes to me. He goes, uh, and we're talking and we're having a great time. And he's got he's got a martini with two olives in it. Did I ever tell you this? Story? No. So he takes the he takes the two pick out with the two olives and at the end and and, and he goes, Chess, come on, share my olive. And I said, what? He goes, go ahead, take the olive, share it with me. So I, I didn't know what he was doing. So I took the olive off the two pick, and he goes, you ready? I go, yeah. And we pop the olives in our mouth. And he hugs me and goes, I love you, man. You're a good kid. You know, you always welcome to come around. Frank you know. Sinatra. Frank yeah. Sinatra. Wow. What a ridiculous so I said, story. I said, well, thanks, Frank. He goes, come on, let's go inside. Everybody's eating, waiting for us. I said, all right, we walk inside. And everybody's, you know, serving, they're serving a, a, a smorgasbord of food. And all of a sudden, I, I go up to uh, Don Rickles. Oh, my God. Rickles. Don Rickles was there with oh my uh, God. Stephen Edie Gourmet, Don Rickles. De Niro was there, and a couple of other, I think Sean Connery was there too. So I walk over there and I, and I go. <laughs> His name just come out of your mind. Yeah, and I go over there and I go, hey, I go, what's with this, this, this olive thing? Frank just never did that before to me. What, what's that about? Right? And I hear a voice behind me go, Frank, shed an olive with you. And I turn around and it's Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck, the f great actor. Mm -hmm. and they were best friends, him and Frank. So I said, yeah, what, what's this, this olive thing? He goes, that's a sign of great friendship, Chaz. The Rat Pack would share their olives together after mm -hmm. they drank martinis. And it's a sign of being a bond yeah, together. Oh he goes, if Frank did that with you, welcome to the club. Wow. That's incredible. I was blown away. That's incredible. I was blown away. What an experience. How, how did you handle that light? Because sometimes when you go from overnight and now the world knows who you are. That's a that's dramatic. That's not a little bit. You know how no, do you how I, do you how do you I manage just, that? I just managed it. You know, I just managed. It. I'm, look, was it hard sometimes? Yes. Did, 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 sometimes you just got to go. You know, okay, I'm cool. You know, I'll, I'll be all right. You know, uh, you just gotta. You know, I don't forget. I was 38, 40, so I wasn't a kid. Mm -hmm. Anybody who makes it under the age of twenty or uh, thirty is is insane. Yeah. So I was already seasoned, but even me, even at my age, it, it was still like, you know, all of a sudden you you have, you know, all these people want something from you. You know, I was always, you know, I I I, I always had girls, so it wasn't like I never had girls before, you know. But it's just this constant level of women, and and money and people and. And what which saved me? Which saved yeah. me was no. Uh, what, believe me, what saved me was I, I had a beautiful. I met a beautiful girl, mm -hmm. my wife, and I got married right around the time Bronx Tale was coming out. So people go. My friends go. Oh, what are you crazy? You're getting married? <laughs> are you out of your mind? Yeah. You know. And I said, look, man, I've had a lot of pretty girls. I've got, I grew up. I've had a lot of women in my life. You know. Do you believe in the in the three great women in your life? Oh, no question, no question. I believe that. You know. I mean, that's one of my things. That that's how I wrote it in. Look, think about it. How many times have you felt? Think about it. How well, you know? You guys are younger. How many times have you fell in love in your life? Think about it. Once, twice, twice, yeah. maybe twice. That's it. Three times. Three three times is like forget it. You only get three. You Adam's know? once a week, by the yeah. way. Every week, is somebody who's in love. The banter. He loves banter. Adam, you got to yes, listen sir. to my podcast because I talk about this whole I'm, thing about, Chaz, about I'm, love. I'm going to listen to the show. With Sandy Blue Eyes. Come on. Of course. No, no. So they, they come around every 10 years like great fighters. But, like, but, uh, exactly. But here's the thing about that is yes, could you have all the women in the world? But some of the biggest ladies' men in the world are very lonely. Yeah. You know, very lonely. Mm. You know, 
Happiness is is marriage and meaning of family and being mm-hmm. with you know. Look, is it hard? Yeah, but that's the way life is. Chaz, what is the modern day <clears throat> door test? In the movie, you yeah. said, you know, I'm, you're gonna do the test. She and, orders the Uber. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, the mo- <laughs> and, and she goes, oh, the, and they go, oh, the the modern goes, day the modern yeah, day door test is as soon as, the, as soon as the door closes, <laughs> she has to get the automatic thing on on her side and hit it a few times. Yeah, so the go. button goes click click yeah. click click. <laughs> now, in the old days, you have to lift no, it up. Yeah, but now they, she has to But now with it. social now, media and dating yeah. apps. I got to tell you, as, as comedians, you know, Don Rickles is, is, is as good as it gets. And you talked about Frank Sinatra. One of the funniest stories I ever heard, Don Rickles talking about right. marriage. He's like, he was explaining, I believe it was to Carson, how he fell in love with his wife. And I guess he was married for a very long time. So he finds this girl he's madly in love with, and he's begging Frank Sinatra. He's like, Frank, I got this girl. It's a I great really, story. I really want to make it with. Yeah. I want to make it with yeah. this girl. Great story. I told you this story. You're the one who told me the story? Yes. He's like, you got you got to come. You want to take the story? Wow, well, okay, sure. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. fine. He says, uh, Frank, you're the biggest star in the world. Right. Uh, do me a favor. I'm going to have dinner with this girl. And just come by and say hi. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not going to come by. I'm not going to do on, this, Frank, Don. Come on, Frank, please, come on. Have a little respect. Yeah. I want to I wanna help me, make out, it, here, help me out here. Yeah. Fucking Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Don, listen, I'm not coming over to your table. It's like, just leave me alone. Don, please. All right. Okay, Don Ruckles, I'll come. So Frank shows up. 10 o'clock, up. don't be late. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Exactly. He, he sets it up. I'll be with the girl. And he's all right, uh, Frank Sinatra, I'll come over to your table and say hi. And Frank Sinatra comes over to Don Rickles' tables. Hey, Don, how you doing? Don goes, Frank, I'm having dinner here. <laughs> Have a little Frank respect. God, what, are you doing? what are you doing? Interrupting my dinner. That's him. And that's, uh, it's like set, <laughs> he yeah. set Frank Sinatra yeah. up. Yeah. You kidding it's me? No, it's no, like the best Don Rickles story you know, ever. It's oh, oh, I can tell you, I can tell you Rickles stories. He says to yeah. me, he goes, you know, Frank's three wives were all named Joanne. Wow. This, I, I didn't know that. He goes, you know, Frank. He goes, you know, my Frank at Pixel always doing. He goes, cheap bastard doesn't want to change the bed towels. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jay Carson, Jay Carson. So he goes, let me tell you something, child. Oh, I could, I could go on. This he is goes, Rickles. This is Rickles. He, goes, he was one of a kind, by the way. The Rickles goes to me. He goes, you know, Rickles saved my life. You know, Sinatra says this. Uh, no, R- Rickles is saying Sinatra saved, oh, saved really? my life. Rickles is telling me. I said, really? He goes, yeah. I said, uh, fr- I said, Don, are you serious? He goes, save my life. I said, what happened? He goes, 1967, front of Caesar's Palace. Three guys stopped beating me over the head with baseball bats. Beating the shit out of me. Frank walks out and says, that's enough. (laughs) (laughs) So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.